Before we move into actually dock, I want to take a second to talk about buttons on the keyboard. The ones in red here, that's pretty much where your left hand has been while you play KSP. And this is Gamer Home Row. WASD are the directions. Shift is to throttle up, control is to throttle down, spacebar is to stage. Probably don't want to rest your thumb on spacebar, could be dangerous. Now notice the set of keys that are in blue. The blue keys, that is your right hand. And to reiterate, the red keys, that is your left hand. So you virtually have a second set of arrow keys over here. I, J, K, L, up, down, left, right, uh, H, and N. Those would perform accelerate, decelerate, much like shift and control on the red set. What you're seeing here is what I call docking home row. And you're going to want to have your middle finger of your right hand on I, your index finger of your right hand on J, and then just like always gamer home right, row on the uh, with your left hand, middle finger on W, index finger on D. And uh, they're essentially mirrors of each other. So it's important just to fiddle with these to learn how they work they're going to be essential to this next docking stage. Notice how there's a purple indicator on my nav ball? Well that's my target. So we're going to want to point our nose at our target. I'm using the red set of uh, arrow keys. I'm going to show a picture again just so we're clear. So now I'm going to use the red set of arrow keys to point my nose at that purple indicator just like it's a maneuver node. And now the blue set of arrow keys, the kind of, the ones I'm running with my right hand, I'm going to use the H key with my index finger to accelerate. All right, I only tapped it twice. Now note how I'm going at 0.3 meters a second towards my target. You see the yellow open indicator? That's the direction I'm going. All right, now I'm going to tap the V key twice, the letter V on the keyboard, and that's going to change my camera view. Oh, sorry, three times. We're going to want it, yeah, in chase mode. Now, chase mode, the camera is going to follow behind our spaceship. We can pan around it like normal, but up is always going to be up, down is always going to be down, left, right, etc. Okay, so now notice as I'm going to hit N, which is going to slow me down. Now you see how now I'm going away from my target. It's got the X in it. Now I'm going to hit H. Now we're going back towards it again, okay. So that's an important set of maneuvers to practice. Another important set of maneuvers to practice is when you either have the retrograde or the prograde indicator on the nav ball, um, use the second set of directional arrows, the blue set. Um, here's an example of I, K, J, L. And notice how I'm moving the yellow indicator around on my nav ball. This is the direction we're going. Since we're on the wrong side for the docking adapter of my target, we actually want the direction we're going to kind of pass around him somewhere. So even where we are right now is fine. So I'm going to resume, I'm going to quick save in case anything goes wrong, and I'm going to time warp. Alright, so we just want to kind of pass by him to get on the right side of the docking adapter. So I'm just going to make sure my, my yellow pro grade indicator is kind of off to the side of him. I'm striking J a couple times to get it a little closer. And now I am going to time warp very slowly about three times. Just because this is a lot of waiting. Alright, going to make sure our solar panels don't collide. I'm actually going to hit E to rotate a little bit. There we go, just to be sure. Alright, and I am just time warping and sliding along, not doing anything. Now that I'm on the right side of the docking adapter, I want to pitch over. And I'm going to do that with the W key. And we're going to roll the nav ball until we have the open circle of the direction our, our target is heading. See, that's the direction our target's coming from. So I'm just hitting W, and we're flipping over. All right, now you see how my target is coming or is going to right here. All right, now we're going to look out. I'm actually lined up pretty good, but you're going to want to use WASD to kind of more or less have it lined up with your target. So like that's that's close enough for what we're going to need to do here. We can make fine adjustments later. You see how we're going away from here? We're going to want that to be the opposite. So we're going to use our right hand on the blue set of arrow keys. We're going to use H. Now we're heading towards our target. Now we're going to use J and I. And we are moving up, down, left, right, 
with our blue set of arrow keys, this indicator, over to the opposite side of him. Now you see how I'm sliding along and I'm not really doing anything, but this, this purple indicator is moving over here. That's because this yellow indicator, the direction I'm going, is on the opposite side. So I'm going to time warp very slowly and then I'm going to stop. Alright, I want him to be as close to straight ahead of me as possible. And then I'm going to strike the L key and hold that down to fire my RCS thrusters and move. I'm just going to be moving this indicator back to straight ahead. Now watch this. Alright, now I'm going straight ahead. I'm going to time warp just for a second to show you what that's like. See how I'm time warping? I'm going straight ahead. I'm following this yellow indicator. Well, now we're getting really close. And when we start to get this close, it's time to reassess if we're lined up again. And we're going to line up with WASD. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of pan my camera around, think if I look pretty lined up. If I start to get uncomfortable with how I'm coming in, I'm going to hit N and change it so I'm going away from my target. Hitting J, L, I, and K, the second set of arrow keys, to line that up as best as possible like this. You can always time warp to slide back out. Hit an H here. Get in the prograde indicator going back that direction. Same dance. Using uh, the second set of arrow keys to move that indicator. And uh, I'm paused right now, but this is when we're going to be coming in for the kill. All right, we're going to be coming in to actually dock. And there's only one thing we're going to have to do when they bump each other. We're going to want to make sure we're going slow, but not too slow. Because you don't want to just bounce off of each other. You want to latch together. I think we're going to be going plenty fine enough if we're going about 1 ms. So I'm going to speed up by tapping H twice. Actually, that's probably fast enough. I'm going 0.5. I feel good about it. I actually think I'm just going to dock here. All right. Now you see how I'm actually just a tiny bit above? What this tells me is that I'm going to use the I key to move the direction I'm going to move my prograde indicator down a little bit because you see how my target docking port's a little under where I want to go? So, okay, resume. I'm going to hit I. All right, now I'm sliding under him. See, I'm going to make it go all the way under him. Now I'm going to hit K to make it go back straight ahead. All right, and you see how we're bumping together but we're not connecting? At this point, we're going to want to be tapping T to toggle our reaction wheels on and off. Tapping T, tapping T, and we are docked. I hope this was helpful because I used to really think that docking was impossible. And just practicing this set of dance moves will really help you out. Um, if you're, you've brought two ships together and you don't feel quite like you understood what you've done, undock, use RCS, use uh, your second set of arrow keys to practice moving uh, this indicator your prograde or retrograde indicator around on your nav ball it's important to have your target set like you just saw right there um, just so you have a frame of reference of where we are moving this indicator around you see how when I didn't have my target set how I don't really notice what's going on it's because we're referenced to orbit we want to be referenced to our target so so you can just go ahead and keep undocking and redocking these as many times as you feel. Just practicing having this indicator level on the real life camera. Like looking out the window, you want this part to be fairly level with that. Practice moving this indicator around. And when you do come together, you want to usually have them pretty close to line straight up like I'm doing. And there is a bit of like grab to it. Alright, when you get this thing going on where they're rubbing, remember tap T, tap T, and they will just latch together. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you on the next episode.